Welcome to the knowledge series of IT Part Shala. In this video, we will be discussing the documentation module of our knowledge series. This tutorial explores the various aspects of software project planning and scheduling. Project planning is an aspect of project management which comprises of various processes. The aim of these processes is to ensure that various project tasks are well coordinated and they meet the various project objectives including timely completion of the project. A project plan is a formal document designed to guide the control and execution of a project. A project plan is the key to a successful project and is the most important document that needs to be created when a business project starts. In information technology, the term project plan refers to a document that reflects the current status of all project activities and is used to monitor and control the project. However, considering a document or set of documents alone as a project plan is inaccurate. These particular documents can be more precisely termed as project schedules and may be considered only a part of the actual project plan. A project plan is used for the following purposes. To document and communicate stakeholder products and project expectations. To control schedule and delivery. To calculate and manage associated risks. Monitoring and measuring the project progress and provide overall documentation of planning decisions. The project planning phases can be broadly classified as follows. Development of the project plan, execution of the project plan, change control and corrective actions. Project planning is an ongoing effort throughout the project life cycle. Why is project plan important? Project planning is crucial for the success of a project. Careful planning right from the beginning of the project helps in avoiding costly mistakes. It provides an assurance that the project execution will accomplish its goal on schedule and within budget. Steps in project planning. Project planning spans across the various aspects of the project. Generally, project planning is considered to be a process of estimating, scheduling and assigning the project resources in order to deliver an end product of suitable quality. Typically, project planning can include the following types of planning. Project scope definition and scope planning. Project activity definition and activity sequencing. Time, effort and resource estimation. Risk factors identification. Cost estimation and budgeting. Organizational and resource planning. Schedule development. Quality planning. Risk management planning. Project plan development and execution. Performance reporting planning change management, project rollout planning. We will now discuss the steps in project planning in depth. Project scope definition and scope planning. In this step, we document the project work that would help us achieve the project goal. We document the assumptions, constraints, user expectations, business requirements, technical requirements, project deliverables, project objectives, and everything that defines the final product requirements. This is the foundation for a successful project completion. Quality planning. The relevant quality standards are determined for the project based on the inputs captured in the previous steps, such as the project scope, requirements, deliverables, etc. Various factors that might influence the quality of the final product are determined. Time, effort and resource estimation. Once the scope, activities and activity interdependence is clearly defined and documented, the next crucial step is to determine the effort required to complete each of the activities. This step clearly estimates and documents the time, effort and resources required for each activity. Risk factors identification. It is important to identify and document the risk factors associated with the project based on the assumptions, constraints, user expectations, specific circumstances, etc. Schedule development. The time schedule for the project can be arrived at based on the activities, interdependence and effort required for each of them. The schedule may influence the cost estimates, the cost benefit analysis and so on. Project scheduling is one of the most important tasks of project planning and also the most difficult tasks. In very large projects, it is possible that several teams work on developing the project. They may work on it in parallel, however, their work may be interdependent. In order to overcome these obstacles, 
popular tools such as Kent Chart, Pareto Charts can be used for creating and reporting the schedules. Cost Estimation and Budgeting Based on the information collected in all the previous steps, it is possible to estimate the cost involved in executing and implementing the project. A cost-benefit analysis can be arrived at for the project. Based on the cost estimates, budget allocation is done for the project. Organizational and Resource Planning Based on the activities identified, schedule and budget allocation, resource types and resources are identified. One of the primary goals of resource planning is to ensure that the project is run efficiently. This can only be achieved by fully utilizing all the available resources. The success depends on the accuracy in predicting the resource demand that will be placed on the project. Resource planning is an iterative process and necessary to optimize the use of resources throughout the project life cycle, thus making the project execution more efficient. Risk Management Planning Risk management is a process of identifying, analyzing and responding to a risk. Based on the risk factors identified, a risk resolution plan is created. The plan analyzes each of the risk factors and their impact on the project. The possible responses for each of them can be planned. Throughout the project life cycle, these risk factors are monitored and acted upon as necessary. Planning change management. Analysis of project performance can necessitate that certain aspects of the project be changed. The request for changes need to be analyzed carefully and their impact on the project be studied. Considering all these aspects, the project plan may be modified to accommodate this request for change. Change management is also necessary to accommodate the implementation of the project currently under development in the production environment. When the new product is implemented in the production environment, it should not negatively impact the environment or the performance of other applications sharing the same hosting environment. Project Rollout Planning In enterprise environments, the success of the project depends a great deal on the success of its rollout and implementations. Whenever a project is rolled out, it may affect the technical systems, business systems and sometimes even the way business is run. For an application to be successfully implemented, not only the technical environment should be ready, but the user should accept it and use it effectively. For this to happen, the users may need to be trained on the new systems. First part of documentation module of our knowledge series ends here. In this tutorial, we discussed what project planning is and why is it important. We also discussed the steps involved in project planning. In the next video, we'll talk about different types of project planning documents and their functions.